Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. X570 and Ryzen 3000 is coming tomorrow. We were given the go ahead to share this video with you guys, but we're not allowed to show you any Ryzen 3 stuff, but also please don't ask in the comments. Guys, there's only like, there's less than 24 hours to go. We can't discuss any pricing because we don't know it yet. And even if we did, we, we're not allowed to share that info with you guys at all. We can only show you X570 boards since most of the boards coming out now were shown off at Computex. Anyways, with all that said, I'm very excited to show you another X570 board from Gigabyte. In this video, we're checking out the X570 Aorus Elite motherboard that supports Ryzen 2000 and 3000 CPUs. Let's check it out. Before we start this video, I just want to make it super clear that our motherboard videos aren't reviews. They're just overviews so you can get an idea of the feature set with these new boards and what physically comes in the box when you buy a brand new motherboard. We're not doing VRM analysis, we're not doing board teardowns. It's just not what we do and don't ask why we don't do it because yeah, we just don't do it anyway. Let's check out the X570 Aorus Elite. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out the X570 Aorus Elite from Gigabyte. Huh? Let's get this guy out of the box so we can take a little bit of a closer look. Now, this is a very budget-focused X570 board, which is quite nice. Okay, first thing we've got here is a bunch of SATA cables for your spinning rust or your 2.5-inch SSDs. Very nice. I like that they included four. Next up, we have this. This is the multilingual installation guide. Now, this will help you get the CPU installed in the socket and get your RAM up and running and all of the really basic stuff to start when you're building a brand new PC. Okay, now we have the user manual. Now, this will talk about uh, what's on top of the board, where everything plugs in and all that jazz. It'll talk about overclocking and BIOS settings and the, uh, the little bit more advanced things when you're building your system. This is their little G connector. This will allow you to plug in all of your front panel wiring and lighting into one easy connector to plug straight into your board so you don't have to fumble around. There's an M.2 screw and a standoff for the two M.2 slots, although uh, one already has the mounting hardware in it. This is for the additional slot. There's a warranty commitment card. This shows Gigabyte's commitment to honor your warranty. So if anything goes wrong with your motherboard, you can contact anyone or any person or anything on this card and you should be able to get it all sorted. Next up is this little guy here. Now this is a badge that will make you an extreme gamer. This will make you better at games. This will increase, increase your FPS. This will just, no, I'm lying. Okay, moving right along. We have this, this circular silver plastic disc and this contains all the things to get your motherboard up and running if you had an optical drive which you don't because it's 2019 okay let's take a closer look at that motherboard out of the plastic you go and here we go there's a front panel audio connector there's an addressable 5 volt rgb header a 12 volt rgb header for analog rgb there's a q flash button hiding right there there's two usb 2.0 headers for things like aios and all of that kind of jazz there's two usb 3.0 headers and last but not least is the front panel header connector. So this is for your lighting and all of that other stuff for the front of your case. There's six SATA connectors for your spinning rust or your 2.5 inch SSDs. There's a USB type C header, which is kind of nice to have on a board of uh, this level because it's quite a budget focus board and a 24 pin power connector. So you can send that juice to your brand new X570 board. There's a CPU opt and a CPU fan header. One's for your AIO, one's for your CPU fans, if that's the path you want it to go down, as well as quite adequate VRM cooling. There's also an 8-pin EPS connector and another PWM fan connector. There's a bunch of uh, PCIe slots here. There's a 16x slot. This is all Gen 4 stuff as well. There's an 8x slot and two one time slots. There's not a lot going on here with this board. You'll notice there's two M.2 slots on this board. There's one underneath that Aorus Elite M.2 heatsink and there's one that's open on the board to the bottom of this shot right here. As with most X570 boards on the market, the PCH has active cooling and the X570 Aorus Elite is no different and that's what the cooling looks like. Let's talk VRMs because it is 2019 after all. It's got a 12 plus 2 phase digital VRM setup and quite adequate cooling to cool those VRMs. There's a standard AM4 socket with standard AM4 socket cooler mounting. Like I mentioned in the intro of this video, this board supports Ryzen 2000 and 3000 CPUs. 
There's four DDR4 RAM slots which support memory overclocked up to around 4000 megahertz. Pretty nice, and let's take a look at the back. Right, there's an integrated I.O. shield, there's a bunch of USB ports, there's an HDMI port, some USB 3.0 ports, there's another USB 3.0 port, a BIOS flashback port, there's gigabit ethernet, USB 3.1 and 7.1 audio. If you're interested in grabbing the X570 Aorus Elite, unfortunately, like the other X570 boards we've covered so far, we can't talk about pricing. Guys, don't ask in the comments. There's less than 24 hours left to go. <laughs> yeah, that's all we can share with you guys. And uh, when, when the pricing becomes available, I'll update the description of this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you're not doing, tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick, with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek, and yeah, Less than 24 hours till Ryzen 3000, guys. Get keen. I'm, I'm pretty keen. I'm not going to lie. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.